this is the system that I use, a system that, uh, that I've been using really my whole career. And the, the first knot that I'm gonna tie is the knot that I use for, man, al almost all of my fishing. And it's an improved clinch knot. And I use it for so many different uh, tactics. When I'm fishing a jig and I'm using fluorocarbon or monofilament, uh, that's the knot that I'm gonna tie when I'm fishing a jig. When I'm fishing a crankbait, I'm gonna use that knot uh, with Fluoro Direct. Anytime I'm using Fluoro Direct, I have rigged up here a Carolina rig. Uh, I'm also, I'm gonna use the improved clinch knot on all three knots, on two knots on the swivel and one knot here on the bait. Uh, when I'm using a spinner bait, I'm also gonna be using that knot, the, uh, the improved clinch knot. Here's a glide bait the big Arashi glide. Uh, I'm gonna I have an improved clinch knot and you can really see it pretty well there with the, the 20 pound gamma uh, edge that I'm using here with the big glide bait. So anytime I'm using mono or fluoro, I'm using the improved clinch knot and I'm using mono and fluoro almost all the time in all of my fishing. It's a knot that I was taught really, really young and I'm, a, I'm gonna show it to you now. I can tie it in my sleep, I can tie it fast, and it, I can tie it really, really well. And that's, if I can express anything to you, that's, that's the most important thing, is to be able to tie a knot well. Practice tying your knot. If it's not you're uncomfortable with, you can get lines, watch TV, sit at the kitchen table, and you can practice tying knots until you become very proficient at it, uh, and very good at it. You need to be good at it because a well-tied knot is going to perform for you when you have a big fish on, when, uh, you know, fish of a lifetime, if you're a tournament guy, it's going to hold up for you when the money's on the line, and that's what you need. And that's really, really important because a, 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 a knot that strategically is a good knot, but it's tied poorly, will not function. It can break, it can fail on you, it can slip, it can cut on itself. A lot of bad stuff can happen if, you're, if you don't tie a knot well, tie it poorly. So that's what I love so much about the improved clinch knot. It's very, very simple. I've been doing it since I was a little bitty kid. I can tie it with my eyes closed. I can tie it when my fingers are numb from the cold. I can tie it in six foot waves. It's an easy knot. So here's how an improved clinch knot goes. And I have this, this awesome uh, line. This is really high visibility green so you guys can see it. Uh, so basically, I'm going to go through the eye of my lure uh, one time, and we're going to take out uh, just a couple inches. Now, here's what I do is I grab with, my, with these three fingers of my right hand, I'm going to grab the lure, leaving my forefinger and thumb free. I do the same thing with my left hand. Use these three fingers to hold the main line, leaving my forefinger and thumb free. With that... I'm gonna I'm gonna twist or wrap the tag end around the main line six times. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, My favorite setup for it is I'm using 20 pound fluorocarbon. I use that because it's just so comfortable. It flies off the reel. Uh, it gives me great feel in the habitat, and I'm always tying. And it has low stretch, which is really, really key, especially like right now with 20 pound test, I have really low stretch, which is really good when you're trying to set the hook and keep pressure on a fish. Um, and the knot that I'm always gonna use when, when I'm fishing a jig or when I'm Texas rigging is gonna be the improved clinch knot. It's been the most stable, consistent performing knot, especially in these heavy lines. It handles shock so well in comparison to some of the other knots that I've used over the years. And you know, like I was describing in a sit down, what what I would have happen to me, which is just a horrible thing to have happen, is when you 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 have a big fish bite your bait on fluorocarbon as this wind is just hammering away at us uh, and you set the hook on a big fish you've got a good 
stout rod, you've got a fish with a big body mass, there's not a lot of give in there. Oh. Come on. All right. Bass you, folks. Information is pouring over. If you want to learn more about every lake, how to fish, shallow, deep, in between, skipping docks and rocks and cranking, slow wiggling, chatter smattering, you get it at Bass U. Get on Bass U TV, check it out, sign up, be a member, be part of it, folks. Keep learning.